welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that let A be a set of first five natural numbers and B be a set of first five prime numbers. Let R be a relation defined from A to B as follows. R is equal to a set containing the order pair x, y such that x belongs to A, y belongs to B and x is less than equal to y. Express R and R inverse as sets of order pairs also determine range and domain of R and R inverse. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, for any binary relation, R, the inverse of the relation is denoted by R inverse and this R inverse is equal to a set containing the order pair Yx where the order pair xy belongs to R. So to get the inverse of the relation we have to interchange the first and the second components in every ordered pair in the given relation. And let us discuss one more thing that if R, that is the relation R is the set containing the order pair x, y such that x belongs to A, y belongs to B and x is less than equal to y then R inverse is equal to the set containing the order pair y, x such that y belongs to B, x belongs to A and y is greater than or equal to x. Now this result will work out as a key idea for finding out this question. And now we will start with the solution. In the question the set A is given as the set of first five natural numbers and B is given as the set of first five prime numbers. So given A is a set of first five natural numbers, therefore in roster form A is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Also it is given that B is a set of first five prime numbers. Therefore, in roster form, B is a set containing the elements 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. Now, the relation R is also given to us. Now R consists of those ordered pairs x, y belongs to a plus b for which x is less than equal to y. Now, A is a set containing these elements and B is a set containing these elements. Therefore, A cross B is a set containing these ordered pairs. Now, we have to check that which of these ordered pairs satisfy this relation. Now, those ordered pairs are 1, 2 as here. This ordered pair belongs to A cross B and also here the first component is less than the second component. That is 1 is less than 2. Also 1, 3, then after that 1, 5, 1, 7, 1, 11. These all are satisfying 
this relation. Similarly, all of these other pairs satisfy this relation. That is, all of these other pairs belong to A cross B and also in all of these other pairs, the first component is either less than or equal to the second component, which means x is either less than or equal to y. So the relation R is a set containing the ordered pairs 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 7, 1, 11, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 7, 2, 11, 3, 3, 3, 5, 3, 7, 3, 11, 4, 5, 4, 7, 4, 11, 5, 5, 5, 7, and 5, 11. Now using this result, which is given in the key idea, we can find R inverse by interchanging the first and second components in every ordered pair in this relation. So R inverse will be equal to a such containing the order pair 2, 1, 3, 1, that is we are interchanging the first and the second components here. And by interchanging we are getting 2, 1, then next we are getting 3, 1, and after that 5, 1, 7, 1, 11, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 7, 2, 11, 2, 3, 3, 5, 3, 7, 3, 11, 3, 5, 4, 7, 4, 11, 4, 5, 5, 7, 5, and 11, 5. Now, we have to find the range and domain of R and R inverse. Now, we know that domain is the set of first components of the ordered pairs. So, here, domain of R will be equal to the set of the first components of the ordered pairs which are these. So domain of R will be equal to a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now domain of R inverse will be also the set of the first components in every ordered pair which are these. So it is equal to a set containing the elements 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. Now, the range is the set of the second components of the ordered pairs. So range of R will be equal to will be equal to the set of the second components in every ordered pair. So this will be equal to the set containing the elements 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. Now the range of R inverse will be equal to the set containing the second components of these ordered pairs. So it will be equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.